This is YBR with a Let's Play for Demolition Company. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a career mode. I want to be the brick wall. It's all the same. Uh, we'll do it on normal. So this is a simulation, supposedly. <laughs> I don't know how good it's going to be. But it is a simulation game. And uh, it seems alright, actually. Honestly, it seems kind of fun from what I've seen before I grabbed it. I mean, there's actual, like, handheld things you can use. And there's also machinery, I've seen. It looks pretty good, really. This demolition company. Not much sound. Well, there's some sound. Very, very light ringing. Probably won't be picked up because I lower that game audio usually. I might not need to if this game audio is low though. Okay, so I have a home. They're putting a story into this one. Wow, okay. Okay, so all I played before this was the demo. And it just puts you straight up on a mission and you did it. Now it's a whole lot of stuff going on it. So the premise of your demolition company unroll before your eyes. And I can't get to read it all because I was mumbling about other things. Isn't that great? Either way, it just said follow the arrows. That shouldn't be too hard to they Yeah, it's just following the arrows. To the ooh, practice area. Alright, so they give you a sledgehammer. And they teach you how to use it and all that. Alright, so we'll learn how to use all the things. First off, we're gonna learn how to sledgehammer. This may be useful in a zombie apocalypse, or it may not be. I can't recall how well a sledgehammer would work against human flesh. Press 1 to access your sledgehammer. To swing the hammer, keep the left mouse button pressed. Go to your numbered waypoint and complete the exercises you find there. 1. You can destroy rubble with your sledgehammer and turn it into a cloud of dust. Strike the brick on the pedestal a few times to pulverize it. Arrgh. Ah. There we are. When you've completed an exercise, its number turns green. Let's see, did it turn green? Where is it? Yep, it turned green. On to the next one. Blow a couple of holes in this brick wall. I'll blow your wall. Yeah. Okay, a couple. That's usually considered as two. There we go. Okay, I guess a couple more. Still some more. Still some more. Can I just hold it? Okay, I could just hold the attack or fire or whatever you would call it. How many times do I have to blow this wall? Falling apart. Your hammer swings get faster as you reach higher levels. Oh, I did it. Now it's falling apart though. I want to see it fall. Come on. Oh, how's it holding up still? Damn, this is a strong ass ball. There we go. If I break that. Oh, they're stained. That doesn't happen. Alright, anyhow, stop messing around. Look at that. Whisk. Super cleaning technology. Mega white. So fresh. So clean. So I'm going to think of myself every day as I get dressed. Destroy the pillars of the structure until it collapses. Try to anticipate the directions of the structure's fall so you can dodge it in time. Take this. On that. And this too. Whoops, I missed. I like smack myself in the face. Oh, I just scrolled accidentally, that's what happened. Timber! And I didn't get hit. All employees wear safe, special safety gear which protects them from any injuries. If you, Even if you find yourself in the middle of a cave and you won't take any damage. Why would I dodge it then? 
Sometimes you have to leave a certain part of a building unscathed. If you press G, you can see what you are supposed to demolish and what you should remain standing. Green means destroy, red means avoid. For this exercise, pulver all, pulverize all the bricks that appear with the red or whatever. Here we go. Wait! No, the green ones you break. I almost screwed that up. See, it cut off right as I was reading it, so it messed my train of thought up. Alright, that's good. And done. The two bars in the lower right indicate your progress. If the green bar fills up first, you've completed the mission. However, if a red bar fills up, you means you failed the mission. Whoops. Whoops. It's okay. It's just a... Yeah. And I received 700 experience. And I have a flashlight as well. And vehicle headlights are usable with F. Seems cool. I'm actually... I like this. I like simulators. They're... To me, they're stupidly fun. Alright, so there's still more tutorials. I'll go ahead and do them all, and that'll be this episode, just the tutorials. Next is the mini excavator. The little mini excavator that is still big enough to excavate even the miniest of buildings. I don't know. Why am I trying to say something clever? I don't do clever. I do obvious pointing out of things such as reading the text approach the excavator and enter it by pressing E drive to the numbered waypoint and complete the exercises you find there yeah R toggles the excavator's compressor on and off to knock out wall parts simply touch them with the compressor's tip for a brief while to move the excavator's boom keep the left and right or both mouse buttons pressed and move the mouse several like move the mouse that's a, that's a new sentence several icons at the top of the screen will show you something I don't know oh it shows you how to do it, basically. This time you can work with... This time you can work the wall with the excavator's compressor. R key. Move the tip close to the brick in order to break it. The compressor's shadow helps you estimate the distance from the wall. There we go. I don't think that's how you use this, but I don't care. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, goodness! I just tipped this whole machine. You can also crash the compressor directly into the wall. Working this way might be faster, but it's less elegant and increases the risk of your vehicle toppling over. Uh, drive to the next waypoint now. I'm gonna keep this thing on. Okay. Ooh. I'm just chipping. Oh my god. That is strong. I'm just bouncing off of it. Boing. Boing. Okay. Knock out the marked parts of the wall. Press C several times to switch to the available camera views of this vehicle. The mouse wheel controls the camera's vehicle distance from the vehicle. Okay, so we got interior view. Knock out the marked part of the wall. Press C. So oh, I just read that. What am I doing? Wow, this is actually difficult. Shut up, I know. Trying to. Careful. There we go. Come on. Yeah. And back up. On to the next one. What's this look like from inside? Damn, you can't see shit. Like you can tell. Okay. Oh. I hit the wrong thing. And I'm tipping it. Why am I trying the interior view? I'm breaking everything there. Aha! Right, interior view does not work for me. Done. It's designed for smaller buildings. Taller structures require larger vehicles that you can buy later on. On to the next... Oh, that's all of it. And I get some more experience. As I said, I'll be doing all of the tutorial ones. If you want to jump into just playing the game, go to the next episode. Or video, or whatever you want to call it. I've unlocked the first city district and its assignments into the company's main office... In the front 
uh, of you, in front of you to see the city map. Ah, I'm so bad at reading. Okay, actually, whoa, scratch all I've been saying. I don't have the, th the thing required to do that. Next tutorial. Okay, so, right. Hopefully you didn't skip it. God damn it, watch all the things I do. No skipping. Smack in the middle of a construction site, there is an old building that has been vacant for years. Construction work already began several months ago, as authorities took their sweet time granting permission to demolish the old house. To prepare the demolition, you have to locate all the walls that have been marked with spray paint and tear them down with your sledgehammer. The green bar in the lower right corner indicates how much you need to destroy. Be on the lookout for still usable scrap metal to secure it before it gets stolen. Okay. Oh well. Enter this building and look at all the walls marked with spray paint. Break through these walls with your sledgehammer. Key one. The green bar in the lower right displays how much you need to destroy. Okay, we've read that before. Goodbye. Well, that's what scrap metal looks like, though. Let's find the scrap metal. Scrap metal? No. Oh, yes. Jeez, you were like the fucking flash. You just run. Okay, if you hit G, it still tells you which to do. Destroy and don't. Alright, so first we're just gonna go around and find all the scrap metal we can. Shouldn't take too long, because I run at the speed of light. There's some more. Oh no! I'm okay. All, all men are also equipped with a parachute in case of jumping off a cliff like a retard. Hooray! I guess. I don't know. Right, sledgehammer. Perfect. You know what I guess I could do is easier is if I go along the side of the wall. Then, if I go in the bottom and break that... Oops, I missed. Okay, that's probably broke enough. I could break these down, I guess, even more. If I want to. Uh, let's go find some more walls, actually. Oh, more scrap metal. No more walls, though. Oh, there's one. Let's take out all of the bottom first. Physics games, they entertain me too easily. Timber! Even though it's a wall, whatever. Kind of applies, it fell over. Smack in the X. Oh, some more metal. I'll keep breaking this up until I. S oh. I was about to say until it stops giving me money, but it just did that. Except this one might still. Nope. Oh, I just noticed there's a time limit. Okay, let's break all the corners. Oh, that corner already broke. Let's break the top this time. I wasn't aiming for that one. Alright, and what if I... Oh, uh, come on. Push it down. I can't push it down. Break the bottom then. Come on, damn it. Break it. 
Yes. Oh, fall. Yes, haha. We'll see if I still get money for breaking the pieces off. We'll still break them a bit for a, a bit until I stop getting money from it. Oh, next one. Oh wait, was there any scrap metal? Oh yes, there was, but there's also a TV. Oh, bye TV. Okay, and we're up and going up. Oh, Alright, we'll just go this one the uh, same way I've done all of them at the bottom. Because that's what seems to work. Nope, oh, I damn accidentally hit the key that got that thing to go away. You think mission complete, but I think there's still stuff to break. No, I can still make more money. Stop falling on my head. I'm trying to smash you. And now I don't make any more money. Unless... Yeah, I can pick that up and maybe there's something up top? Nothing. <laughs> there's scrap metal on that roof. Oh. Couldn't jump it. <laughs> maybe if I go... Oh, no, come on, let's jump onto this. We're gonna jump onto this with this crappy engine they have. It's actually the same engine they use in nearly every uh, simulator game the company makes. Hey, that works. Anyhow, okay, that's about all I can do, so. Uh, and I guess. Yes, I want to end it. 900 experience, 13 out of 16 scraps. And. I've played missions multiple times. I don't want to do mu multiple missions in a row. I mean, I made 4,000. That should be enough. Alright, let's go do it. Do I got anything new? I don't... Oh, I can buy it. Alright, let's buy it. Let's try it out. I've actually tried this before, but uh, that was in the demo. So, could be different. Doubt it. <laughs> It won't be. I'm just trying to be optimistic here. Get your jackhammer by pressing 2. Keep the left mouse button pressed to activate the tool. Some walls take longer to break depending on their strength. Just keep it at a- Oh, damn it. I, was, I gotta stop trying to read it in like a fancy voice and not stutter. I just gotta read it fast and where I stutter. Once again, this wall will serve as a punch bag. Break out at least half of his bricks. Urgh. Right, this is not working well. There we go. Oh, it's just shattering in every direction now. Man, we really hate this wall. Working with a jackhammer is considerably faster than the sledgehammer. However, the jackhammer only breaks out wall parts and does not pulverize them. Work on this concrete hut and make it collapse. The green bar in the bottom right shows your progress. Let's do the corners first. Well, there's no roof to it, though. Let's just do the bottom thing. This looks reinforced. Not anymore, it's not. Must destroy entire building! With jackhammer. I wonder how it looks. I haven't even. I'm like not looking at what I'm doing. I'm just poking at it every direction. Right, if I break this, can I break it? There we go. Aha! And hit this. Yep. There we go. It's done. 
If you own more than one jackhammer, you can switch between the models by pressing two repeatedly. Moving your moving your mouse wheel allows you to switch hand tools rapidly. Okay, that's nothing new. Oh, 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 oh. I received 1,000 experience points. Lower the level of detail? Hell no. Actually, I should raise it. I didn't, I didn't even check that. Oh. I'll do that some other time. There's something over there. I don't. I guess that's like... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I was thinking to say. I was hoping I would figure out what I was talking about by the time the words would have to come out of my mouth. Uh, it didn't work, though. Alright, so... We'll do... I guess the next one of these, how do you... And then... Okay, there we go. So that one... Alright, that should work. And we start. Climb the stairs to the building's roof where this hut is located. Take out your jackhammer key too and work on the hut's walls. Accidentally falling off the building does not harm you. All it costs you is some time. Since you have to walk back up to the roof, be careful not to let too many pieces of rubble slip off the roof and fall to the ground. Right, this was actually the one we did. I did in the demo, um, so I kind of know how to do this already. Oh man, I gotta up the sensitivity in this game. It's so low. I'm hitting on my mouse already. I mean, when I say in this game, I usually mean click the button on my mouse, which makes it oversensitive. That's one or the other, damn it. Alright, so basically, I'm gonna try to make it fall away from the side of the building. Fall inwards onto itself basically is what I want. Fell. It's alright though. It's actually jackhammer. Or not jackhammer, they just use the mallet. Glitching now. Oh crap. Nope, I lost. No way, I'm still going at it. I like that when you hit all of the pieces and then you come once and then you come back from. Don't fall. Don't. Oh, it fell. Mission complete. Barely. Juice. Uh, no, I will not end mission yet as I still think I can make money. Yes. Smashing things. Still making it. Oh, that was close. And here we go. Money. No money. 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 You know, actually, it'd be better if you just do this to it all. Cause you're getting the money for when it breaks off, I think. Yeah, you make the money just doing it like this. Oops. <gasps> Are you shitting me? No, 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 no. Oh my 
God damn it. I already succeeded though. Fucking shit me. I gotta do it again. Now. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, I don't have to do it again, but I got no experience from it, I don't think. Or money from it. I got no money from it. I need the money, probably. Uh, I'll do it again. I could do it better this time, maybe, right? You know? Is there a crouch? I can't recall. I don't think there is a crouch, actually. Oh, there's still scrap metal around. If you can find it. I'll look later, I guess, after I destroy the building again. So let's just totally destroy the bottoms. Okay, and now we're going to want to get inside of this. And we're going to try to do something where we cut the roof in half. It's actually working. So far, I'm doing better than last time. We'll just push it from the top and then push it in, I guess, kind of. With that. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, there's two of them. I guess we'll switch to hammer. Don't fall on me! Damn it, some of it fell. Wow, that is not realistic. <laughs> it's like bouncing and shit. Come on, you're done for. Go down. Alright, then I'll just jackhammer this thing up until it. There we are. Oh crap. Stand on it. Break it. Uh no, let's not touch this again. Well, could make some more money, but I don't know if I should take the risk. We'll do the easy ones right here. And that's it. Okay, that's all. And oh wow, that is skill. <laughs> no, it's luck. Uh, let's go look around for those mm, scrap metal pieces things. Maybe I could get a bunch of them together and make a reclaimed metal, and then a, I mean a refined metal. Then I can make a reclaimed metal out of that, and I'll make a hat. Another one. Oh, there's another one. Any more? I can break this thing. Take that! 
Doesn't matter, I've still got penalized for it, but at least they're broken. There's another. I can poke my head in here. Again, see if there's any. Don't see any in this building this time, though. Oh, there's one. Alright. And, you know, that might be good enough. If I don't see any more soon, I'll just cut it and take what I have. And I'll see it, so I'll just cut it and take what I have. Oh, wait, can I climb this? Maybe I put this away? Oh, guess not. Oh, well. Next mission. End. Yes. Actually made money. Hooray. Because I don't think I made money last time. Maybe I did. Eh, whatever. I like that one. It was fun. Done it three times because I did it in the demo. <laughs> Next up, we got the... Ooh. Oh, I don't have enough money, though. How much money do you need? Doesn't say, does it? Oh well, we'll go back for those later. We'll do more of these missions. Oh, this one gets to use the... I don't own this, do I? I don't think I own the mini excavator yet. Whatever, we'll try it anyways. Go to the mini excavator and enter by pressing E. To control the excavators, boom, hold the left, right, or mouse button to activate. Move the... Oh, I know how to use this. Uh, cause the building to collapse to accelerate your work. You can also leave the vehicle and demolish the walls with a jackhammer. And apparently I do have one of these. Oh yeah, I do have one because I used it already. Duh. Okay, here we go. Working. Ah, chop at the building. I'm gonna get caved in. Oh well, it's okay. I'm a professional here. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Oh my god. I flipped it on the other side. Realism. I don't know. Maybe it's real. I don't know. Doubt it. So oh, we're breaking this thing down pretty good, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter because I'm a professional. Let's just finish this off with this thing. Oh, I can't break those though, it looks like. Back into the crashing mobile. Get the pulsing thing back on. And smash. Right, this isn't working. Let's make a 360. I'm stuck. Right, so that thing is stuck. Uh, let's use this thing.
It works just slowly. Oh, I know what I could do. Actually, I could break this stuff. Or not. Or I can move it. Hopefully I frees it up. Hey, it worked, I think. Maybe. I'm still stuck on that piece. Come on, yes, we're free. Mostly. There we are. Right, let's line myself up for an easy... Uh, don't end quite yet. There's still a pillar I gotta break. Now we're done. Oh, I didn't look for the scrap metal. Oh well. I can take assignments in the industrial area. What's over here? Oh, I can buy the explosives, actually. Before I do that, let's go to the training of the explosives. Buy. $5,000. It's cheap, I think. Explosion. Who the hell is giving me explosives? I am not qualified for explosives. I'm barely qualified for the stabby thing. Press 3 to get out the explosive charge. Press left mouse button to attach a charge to the surface. Once you've placed enough charges, you can activate them with a detonator. Press 3 repeatedly to switch switches between the available explosive types and the detonator. So we go. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh! Flying debris could hit other buildings and damage them. For this reason, use of the explosive is not allowed in all missions. Oh. Place the charges inside this hut and activate the detonator after you've left the building. Let's put one here, one here, and one here. Aha! You can attach the explosive to the ceiling of a room, which can be very effective on occasion. Press R to pick up charges you've already placed. So if I go, oops. I got that boom. Never mind. All right, we'll do one more mission and then we'll uh, cut it there. Because uh, I want to use the explosive some more. <laughs> Due to an unexpected fierce storm, part of the building's top floor has already collapsed. Thanks to this incident, the building's detonation has been given the green light. Place explosive charges in the building and activate the detonator once you have reached a safe distance. Try to conduct the detonator in a controlled manner and prevent debris from flying out of the construction site or colliding with nearby buildings. Alright, should be easy enough. Alright, so how many do I have? Three. I guess we'll do the simple thing and just plop them in the corners. See what that does. Alright, let's let's get these these walls down now. I don't need to leave this. I'll stay right inside. Oh, that's cool. Physics, man. And there's still some left. Just break it down, I guess.
Really, there's this is collapsed down. I don't know why I'm needing to put more. Did I just lose money for getting exploded on? Oh, I do lose money for getting exploded on. Alright, that was a cool mission. I like that. I cost myself $2,200 because I exploded myself. Still made a shit ton of money. I'm going to do that one more time and then we're going to end it because I had fun. I want to try to do it a different way now because, you know, I can. It wasn't as long as I expected. I was hoping to be able to use like a bunch of explosives and stuff, but whatever. Ceiling. It's going down. Ooh, that was a good one. That thing's going down. I wonder if it costs money for every explosive. I just thought of that. Oh, it does. I used, what did I use, like, seven, so I guess... I think it was seven, so it's 200 each. So maybe it wasn't because I was hurting myself, it was just because I was using them. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, so that's the end of this part. Uh, it's been YBR with you. I'll see you next time.